Hey, 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 y'all. Welcome to the channel. For those of you that are new, welcome to Birth and Bosses with Felicia. I am Boss Lady Fee. I hope all of my amazing boss ladies are having a great day, guys. I'm having a great day. Happy, happy Saturday to each and every one of you. Guys, this is part two of the video from yesterday when I was showing you what I was going to put in the Weekender bag from Walmart. But guess what? Don't leave just because you saw that video because I'm not going to design it with the items that you saw yesterday. I'm gonna make some slight variations and changes, okay? So this box that you see right here is the box that I use in the bottom of the Weekender. And I did not wanna use my box because I was gonna use those for gift boxes. But hey, it's just one box. I couldn't find a used box or another type of box that would fit the way that I wanted it to fit in the Weekender. So I used one of those gift boxes. And then in the front, I'm just using some cardboard that was um, left over from a box that was shipped to me. I'm actually just kind of connecting those with the tape, guys. Just make it do what it do with what you have. If you just have cardboard or whatever you have, just make sure you use some cardboard or a box so that your items will be stationary within the bag or handbag, whatever it is that you're going to be using similar to this. Okay, I have then put the house robe on the back of the box. Okay, so it's secured in the back, in the back of the bag. And I'm also going to be adding the blanket that you guys see here that I got from Dollar General at 90% off, guys. Now, mind you, the house robe was free unto me, but I believe it came from Walgreens. And this candle that you see came from Dollar General, guys. It was 90% off. I think I paid like 70 cent for it. It is a green dot candle from last year. Um, so you will see me just adding different items into this Weekender. If you have a Weekender or a bag similar, guys, you do not have to use the exact same product, but you can use something similar. This is just giving you an idea of what you can do with a unbasket okay those of you new following me a unbasket is just a word that i came up with describing an item used just like as if it was a gift basket but instead of it being a gift basket it's whatever a handbag a tray whatever it's just not a basket but it gives the same appeal as if you were creating a gift basket okay so now we're using the bath and body works guys that i got from the outlet and of course i only paid three dollars a piece for those items so go ahead and start tallying in your mind because one of the objectives in this video is to tell you guys, shout out to Miss Angela Norris, um, what it is that I'm going to be charging for this gift, okay? So here you see the socks that were attached to the ring of the um, Weekender. I just detached that and I also detached the eye mask and I'm going to be just laying those two items up on the on top of the box and i'm also going to be using the little makeup bag as well and you'll see a little further in the video where i take some newspaper and just stuff uh, that um makeup bag so that it appears to have something in it whenever you're using a handbag or something like that don't keep it flat make sure you use newspaper or something to fill it so that it will give an appeal of a filled item okay so i'm just going in adjusting my items where i want them to be trying to figure out exactly what I want to put where. Okay, so as I stated, some of the items that I previously stated I would use yesterday, I am not using those items in this basket today, okay? We are just using um, the items that you see. Um, and yeah, you'll see right here where I stuffed that makeup bag, okay? Well, that's what I'm considering it as. I don't know exactly what um, it was listed as on the label but it appears to be a makeup bag so i just stuffed it to make it look like there was something on the inside of it and i'm just going in guys and just checking it out making sure things are the way that i want it i added a loofah in there which you will see later on in the video i'm gonna move and shift that over to another place i'm now going in in the um spots where the box didn't fill it and just filling it with newspaper again to give the illusion of a filled item okay so that's what we're doing and then i'm gonna after i finish that i'm gonna go in and lay some tool on the inside of the bag and um just make it do honey and here i'm adding a sign to the back of it because i have so many of those signs y'all i can put them signs in every basket and probably still have some left over so we're just going in and adding this just to give it an, another item to be added into the basket 
but guys i want to go ahead and tell you what i paid for this basket now because a lot of the items were gifted to me um me personally i didn't put but about ten dollars in this particular gift even if it was that much um but if you um shop 90 percent off like i do and you got most of these items on sale then we'll go ahead and stretch it and say you probably spent about $25 on this particular item, okay? Now, when I give the price that I'm going to sell it for, does not mean that's what you have to sell it for. Does not mean that's what the going market is for in your area, guys. Keep in mind that nobody can give you a exact formula of how to charge for your items because we all ship, not ship, but we all shop at different price points. We all live in different areas where the um, economy is different, the market is different. Um, and as I always say, it doesn't matter what people will pay because some people say, well, in my area, people won't pay this and they won't pay that. People will pay what they want. But when I say charging by the market, not by what people want to pay, but what the worth is in the area where you are. So this particular basket, when I sell it, it's going to be ranged from anywhere from 125 to 135 I will be safe to say that you could get up to 150 and maybe even a little bit more. Just depends on what neck of the woods you're in with this gorgeous bow and all that I've done. I'm definitely going to be selling it anywhere from 125 to 135 and I'm going to be selling it for Christmas. So I will keep you guys updated when I sell this item. But make sure you guys know your worth and that you are not downplaying your skill or the items that you are selling. All right. Meanwhile, get your money, honey, and fill your bag to the next video. Bye, y'all.